In the spirillians, we will be discussing about the next group of lophophorates, which is the bryozoa. The bryozoa as ones are the organism which have almost all the species which are clonial. And these are the organisms which are um, having very exquisite form of the skeletons. And these skeletons are not very durable after their death. The skeletons fragment easily after death. And these are least well-known invertebrates in the uh, spirillians or the in uh, whole invertebrates. They have the 6,000 living and 16,000 fossil species and almost all of those are marine in nature. So, uh, how does the bryozoans look like, right? So, if we talk about the bryozoan, what are the bryozoan mean? So, these are uh, moss animals. Bryo, wherever the word bryo comes, that means moss. And zoa means animal. So, bryozoans are the moss animals. The animals which are very much resembling to the mosses. So, uh, these are superficially resembling to the corals and hydrides. And these are filter feeders and see food particles using their retractable lophophore. Right. So, the uh, genus Bowerbachnia is the relatively simple bryozoan. And this is the genus which is used for illustrating the general anatomy of the bryozoan zoids. So, as we have discussed about that the bryozoans are colonoids. These are making colonies. So, what is the unit of a colony? A unit of a colony is called zoid. So, wherever we are discussing about the individual bryozoans, we will be talking about the zoids. And here in the next uh, slide, we will be discussing their structure. So, here you have a gymnolamate. Uh, we will be discussing about that. The gymnomolet is a genus of uh, lophophores and inside the bryozoa. So here in the right upper side, you can see the lophophore, which is a fading organ and the anus through which it expels out all the undigested food and all the other structures along with the retractor muscles. What does the retractor muscles doing there? Retractor muscles are responsible for taking the lophophores in when the, this organism is not in a feeding stage. So, each living zoid is enclosed by a body wall or cysted and the lophophore uh, is having the beating cilia, right? So, these cilia and a ring of 10 tentacles direct food to mouth and leading to a U-shaped gut. If you see the previous diagram, you would able to see a U-shaped gut from the mouth to the anus and the anus is used for the digestion of the undigested food. So, um, we have found some oldest uh, bryozoans that occurred in the primadocian stage of the lower Ardovician. So, these are the primitive uh, soft-bodied bryozoans existed during the Cambrian. And uh, some of these were not able to uh, preserve. And we, the upper ones, the primadocian stage uh, fossils, we are able to see because they have been preserved. But there are some bryozoans which might have been earlier present during the Cambrian era, but due to the, the reason that they were soft-bodied, their fossils have, uh, the fossil record is not existing. So, the Stenolamata um, dominated the Paleozoic bryozoan faunas. So, during the Paleozoic era, the Stenolamata was there and the genera such as Monticulipora, Prasopora and Parvohalopora are the typical of the Ardovician assemblages. So, the, during the Ardovician, if we see the uh, stratigraphy of the Ardovician uh, era and the assemblages of the fossils there, we will able to see the these group of uh, bryozoans there. So, the chiliostomes uh, are, what are the chiliostomes? These are the polymorphic zoids. These were having the different uh, zoids. That means in a colony, there are the individuals who are specialized to do the different things. And these are called polymorphic zoids. These appeared during the late Jurassic era. Uh, and these were the common in late Cretaceous and Paleogene of the Baltic and Denmark region. And now, uh, if we talk uh, about the both brachiopods and uh, bryozoans, which, uh, which are the ones which are the most uh, present today. The member of the filter feeding Paleozoic eventually uh, fauna, both of these, 
and these are present even today but which one is the more present today and which one is the less the brachiopods are the minor part of the recent marine fauna but the bryozoan continue to flourish even today